people can see what it looks like. There are some people that are watching and they are uh, uh, they're making fun of Temple OS. You can't have that. So I'm going to uh, I'm just going to use Temple OS for a while. What do we want to do? Maybe we okay. Let's, uh, oh, watch this. I got something that's cool. Watch this. Okay, so, uh, watch this. Uh, okay, first of all. First quarter profits for, and then we're going to say company. Comma. Let's just do it. Okay. So, um, watch this. Okay. So, So first quarter profits. Now, uh, guess what? Uh, what if we define, first of all, who minus R? Do once. I64 uh, H. Who minus R? global variable. Watch this. Define company uh, Acme. What an awful name. Who minus R? Oops. Dang it. Okay. Company is a defined string. Okay. Company is a defined string. And there's what the value is. So it's like an environment variable. Okay. Now watch watch this. Um, okay, so this is like, you know how HTML is has ASCII underneath? Well, this is a little bit like that. Watch what happens if we... Uh, this is text. Okay, doesn't like that at the command line. Watch this. Control L. Text. Okay, this is text. Okay, so um, Control L. Now if I say company says Acme. Here's what happened. Um, this is a text entry that has the tag changed with the define of company. The, 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 each task has a symbol table. Who will dump the symbol table? So guess what? We can go into this program and say control L text uh, define company If we hit Control T, so there's uh, there's text in there. Now if we hit, oh well, it, it changed it already. We okay. Watch. So watch this. So um, if I hit uh, include test first quarter profits for Acme. Watch this. I say pound define company. Funko. 
Now I have a hit. Now how on earth did that happen? Whoa. What if we make a document? ED. <sighs> now if we say control L text, let's make it centered. Centered X company. Uh, oh, we're just gonna. Uh oh, I just screwed up. Uh, the problem is. Uh, oh, that's not what the problem is. What? With the truck? Something wrong. That's okay. Anyway, uh, sales are up. Now if I escape, now if I say define uh, company uh, Wally Mart, and then if I say there, now if I say if I edit sales Wally Mart, what's going on? So here's what's happening. Um, This is a doll doc, a dollar sign document. Why is it a doll doc? Because the commands are bracketed with dollars. So text is normally um, the default. But if you have centering or you have an argument, then it's not. So, uh, We can look at how we got to this situation. Uh, doc recalc. So there are various doll doc commands. One of them is text. Let's go looking. The commands have flags. There are, um, if you hit F1, doll docs document overview. So there are various command types. These are put together into a circular queue. The various commands. Then there's flags that go on the commands. And some of the flags have arguments as well. So you can some you can make the tag with the T equal. You don't need that. Some of them have uh, left expression, left macro. Uh, anyway, uh, HTML, maybe you want to, com I have a program that will convert it to HTML, and maybe you just want some uh, raw text to be converted, um, so you can put it in there. The D is a define, um, so these are some of the commands. So in the recalc, uh, it's checking, um, you can't uh, do word wrap and stuff. You can't break up the commands if they have a defined. So it's checking for a tag callback or a defined. So uh, let's go to uh, the demo section. Here are some callbacks. This is the command line. Uh, look at that. What do we have here? We have a callback that is replacing um, the philosophy is the documents are for screen and not printer. That's the philosophy. This is a fundamentally different operating system. The documents are for screen and not printer, and we don't do multimedia. We have a bunch of differences from what you're used to. So tag has a, if it has a tag callback or it has a pound to find, right now it's printing out... Uh, Uh, let's see what else we have. Anyway, this is where it, where it renders the document. So um, watch this. Uh, let's go back. I'm going to get okay, hit right, and then we hit delete. Let's make it. I did Ticketmaster's report generator. Uh, so I64i for 
i equal zero i less than 100 i plus plus percent d how about percent 12 d per 12 comedy percent 12 comedy uh oh let's let's kick this up to a thousand no let's kick it on ten thousand percent Okay, I'm going to hit F5. Comedy. Okay, so the, we got commas in there. Um, there's no carriage return. So this is one big, long word wrapped. We have word wrap at the command line. That's no surprise, except it's not, uh, except it's actually at spaces. That's kind of a surprise. Now, if we hit no, if we hit, if we, if we put a command here, control shift W, Oh, what, what, what? Oh, that's embarrassing. Well, anyway, it didn't do it right away. There's a subtle reason for that. Anyway, so now it's one big long line, and there's no limit to the command line. We have no buffer overflows. We just re we allocate everything dynamically, and you get miserable performance if you do stuff, but it's no buffer overflow. So um, I'm panning. You can pan. You can zoom. Control Alt Z. You can zoom anywhere. You can pan anywhere. It's built into the graphics API. Okay, so we have a word wrap zero. If we put a word wrap one, that turns it back on. So uh, oh, let's see. Now let's uh, let's do these in columns. What do you say? Okay, how about that? A. Eh? So. Let's just, I'm going to cheat. What do I mean by cheat? Okay, first of all, let's put this back to about, let's, just, let's do six. Okay, now let's do, if I modulo 1000 equals equals 999, Okay, now if you don't remember the 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 um, doll dot commands, hit Control L, and we want to do a cursor movement. And this is the X and the Y of the cursor. We want to move over. Um, okay, we're sitting here now. We want we want to move over one X, and we want to move minus nine 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 Y. Okay, oh shit. I hate when that happens. Control T. Okay, here's what you do. So it, it put it in as, uh, okay, if you're on top of the command, kick Control B, and this tells you what command you're on top of. We're on text. Now we're on, uh, I just did the cursor, cursor movement. Now Control T toggles between plain text and you can you can toggle a single command. So I'm going to go Control Shift T. So now that's uh, that's in uh, that's well. Long story short, now it's going to work. What what do you think this is going to do? Guess what it's going to do. Whoops. Okay, so it's off the screen. Oh shit. What happened? Oh, we want character turn. Character turn. What? What? Is that what we want? Yeah, I think so. No, yeah, no, no. You idiot. We want a cursor movement. Okay, we want uh, control L, cursor movement, minus seven, minus seven plus one. And we want to put this in quote mode. That's the difference. Okay, so now let's try it. So, we're, oh shit, what did I do? They're on top of each other because the last one. So we got to shift this over eight. Watch this. Okay, now we have. Well, anyway, you can figure this out.
Okay. Uh, okay, let's put some. Sometimes if you put thought, it a little bit of thought saves a lot of effort. Okay, so I like six with a space. So minus seven, minus. Minus seven left. Okay, this is the X and the Y. Plus one Y. What the truck is going on? Okay, we're doing 10 columns. Uh, maybe that's too much. Let's try this with, uh, let's try 3,000. Okay, so is it lined up? No, look at that. You see it's not, they're not lined up. The, the, the numbers are not lined up. Uh, Uh, we want one less back. What? That's pretty weird. I don't think that's good. I don't think we want that. The other answer, one more back. Okay. So now the, the numbers are the li numbers are lined up. Uh, let's what is your malfunction, eh? Okay, so. So, oh, we got, we got sent to the, we got sent to the top. Let's go back to the bottom. Control L, cursor movement, Let's leave it alone in the X. In the Y, we want uh, plus a thousand. Oh, I did it again. So I go back, so I'm on top of cursor movement. You see down here, it says cursor movement. Now Control Shift T. Okay, escape. There we go, that looks bitter. So now the, the navigation is pretty weird. Um, we move up and down. But if we go over here, we come back to the top like that. So if we hit Control T, it's a whole bunch of cursor movement commands. So this is a feature that the Ticketmaster report generator had. And if a man has a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And this is something I learned how to use, so I used it. <laughs> now why, what is going on here, folks? What's going on with this? What the truck is going on? You have any clue? Oh, you know what happened? The command line buffer filled. Okay, so, um, starts deleting after the buffer fills. This will make it max. <laughs> okay. Doc Max makes no buffer limit. Okay. So, oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, that is beautiful. So, um, that is beautiful. Lovely. You want to make something, uh, you want to you want to make a callback? Okay. Now you might say somebody is saying he's using a virtual machine interpreter. No, it's fucking compiled. I'm a white man. I make a fucking compiler. Unassemble function main. This is this is x86 64 assembly there are there's a register variable i that is located at minus 8 off the off the base pointer we call doc max this is doc max this is a print which what line are we on here i have source debugging i made a fucking compiler Okay, here's the uh, 
for this is the for loop right here greater or equal this is one of the prints there's the modulo it's an idiv um, you load convert quad to octa this is for converting RAX to uh, RAX RDX um, compare 999 increment jump so um, watch this eh this is gonna blow your mind it's not text mode it's graphics mode now are you ready to have your mind blown watch this eh uh, we can let's put a sprite in here uh, control R make sprite let's do color red let's do width 5 this, these are vectors now let's do uh, let's do symmetry I have a plan I'm gonna make a diagonal now let's do a poly let's do a B spline okay B spline open B spline 2 okay now I'm gonna make a dollar sign a big dollar sign uh, did I do my symmetry correctly no I made a fool of myself I hate when that happens what is your malfunction that's okay so let's go ahead and edit sprite uh, shift points okay hey how do you make I thought I could this is a puzzle I thought for sure I could make a dollar sign. IQ test. <laughs> I, what the hell is I meant to make a heart. I was I was gonna make a heart. Uh, how about a bunny? Okay. Main menu. Okay, so we click here. Let's do a line. heart let's do a heart and uh, dither color uh, let's do red and white and flood fill okay now let's go ahead let's take that put it on the clipboard and let's copy it and let's make it bigger control R or let's make it Oh, we can just scale it. You want to just scale it? Let's do that. Let's just scale it. You want to do that or you want to do... Oh, let's do it this way. Sprite menu. Transform selected elements. 1.3, 1.3. Escape. Exit. Okay. So... First of all, we can, uh, if you want to print a sprite, uh, get to the bottom, I go back to the top of the slide, get to the top while I go for a ride, get to the bottom, and I do it again, okay, 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 let's see what we got here, control R, pointer to sprite, number one, let's do number one. Oh shit, what happened? Tripping out. Okay. Where is our, where are our hearts? At the bottom. So 
so we got a heart at the bottom of each row now look at that they're vectors that's not good that they're vectors because it does the flood fill as a vector operation we can convert to bitmap we'll do that in a second but first of all um, let's go ahead u0 draw it c task star task cdc star dc when i get to the bottom i go back to the top of the side slide great get to the top well i go for a ride get to the bottom and i do it again we call the this i think we have a name for this I think we call it 10 PS equals. Oh, first of all, let's uh, GR Sprite 3. No, I think, did we just say Sprite 3? I've renamed these so many times over the years. GR Sprite 3, Sprite 3A, 3B. Okay. There's a few coordinate systems. There's the coordinate system of the sprite. There's the coordinate system of the window. There's the coordinate system of the screen. Uh, so this is DC. Let's stick it at 100, 100. And you have to do X, Y, Z for no particular reason. Control R, pointer to sprite. Sprite number one. Let's see what this does. Okay, so we have a sprite sitting on the screen quick okay so watch this 10 ps equals sprite sprite interpolate uh, this is the we're gonna we have I made a triangle function and the parameter is the current time in seconds so this goes 0 to 1, 0 to, 0 to 1 to 0. And we do control R, pointer to sprite number 1, comma, control R, pointer to sprite number 2. And let's see what this does. And we say tempest free tempest. Hey, when I have get to the top, go for it. What is your malfunction, eh? Oh, oh, I got lucky. That's weird. What? Since when? I should change that. <laughs> Since when has it done it like that? Are you serious? It shouldn't be like that. That's not how it should be. That is how it is. That does not seem right. I don't think that's what I do. Since when have I done it like that? Oh well, that's that's re it's really weird. That makes me upset. Missing expression. Oh. I need a period. Uh, every one second. So it's going to do a triangle up with a period of one second. Mm, that looks a little bit obscene. <laughs> so it's getting a flicker. That's because uh, the screen is being cleared halfway through we are not synchronized with what of course we are we're synchronized what the fuck is your if i were drawn down here it would not be synchronized but right here what is your malfunction eh why are we getting a flicker huh that sucks I don't know why. Okay, so uh, I'm 
I'm gonna undo. We're gonna convert this. Convert to bitmap. Okay, convert to bitmap. Transparent background. Use those extents. Now let's do a uh, um, color. This is just silly. Let's color five. Add outline. Okay, five. Escape. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh well. So let's get rid of the dry. And so they, these are bitmaps, not flood fills. There's the uh, binary sprite data in the unassembly. So uh, that's just lovely. Okay. So that's just some of the cool shit you can do. Uh, it's made for. Uh, Let's say you are a kid and you want to make a game. It's really good for kids to make games. You can even make a game. This is like Defender. Don't. It's like Defender. Don't kill your own guys. So uh, you can make 3D meshes. I guess I should show you that. Uh, it's not very fun. 3D meshes are not very fun. So we do make sprite, create 3D mesh. So pow, pow, pow. Now I'm holding the right button and moving. And I can hit pow. So uh, these are the... Uh, I hold, I held it the right button and moved. So uh, let's do triangle. Let's do color. This color is hard to understand. Anyway, um, blue. Triangle. Let's rotate... What do we want about the green axis? Let's spin it around the green axis. And now let's spin it around the red axis. Let's put a, a red, let's do color red. Let's spin it around the red axis. I think the bottom is open. Okay, now we hit escape, exit sprite. Now we have a 3D mesh. And we can, let's change this control T, number two. Okay, escape, run it. So at the bottom, Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. There, look at that. We have a bunch of sprites. And that's why Temple OS is divine intellect. It was right, Mr. God. Mr. God says, I did it. taught me assembly. He didn't teach me. He taught me, but he didn't teach me. <laughs> I knew. <sighs> so, if you think you're smart, let's see you improve the code. So that ought to do.